Proszę mnie nie przepychać do przemocy i naruszania mienia. Szanowni Państwo. Today in front of the detention center in Warsaw where Father Micha Olszewski is being held, there was an attempt to disrupt the work of our team. The provocateur attacked our team almost damaging expensive equipment. It all happened during live coverage. This is the result of the fight against media pluralism in Poland, which has been going on since Donald Tusk's coalition took power. The supporters of the currently ruling PO coalition are not supporters of any party, but a sect based on hatred. The attacks on Telewizja Republika began immediately after the appointees of the former Minister of Culture illegally took over public media. Last December, Colonel Bartłomiej Szynkiewicz underestimated the potential of our station. Later, he tried to make the work of our journalists difficult. Until I can be certain that this institution is a journalistic institution and not an institution of thieves, I see no reason to invite these representatives to my press conferences. This is not a coincidence. It is a conscious action of this government to silence, suppress and even destroy media such as Televisia Republica. Attacks by politicians and supporters of the civic platform on Televisia Republica result from the fear of difficult questions that our reporters ask to coalition politicians. That's what this election is about so that we don't get asked these types of questions all the time. The government decided that there would be no media in Poland that could effectively criticize them, which is why our journalists are not allowed to attend Prime Minister Donald Tusk's press conferences. The fact that we have such support among people, that we function, that we are developing, that we are becoming and soon will be the largest television in Poland, hurts those who are afraid of criticism. Television Republic journalists will not stop asking difficult questions and striving for the truth.